we want to solve the given exponential equations using logarithms. If an exponential equation has only one exponential part, like these two examples, we want to isolate the exponential part and then take the log of both sides of the equation to solve for the variable. So looking at our first equation, we have 9 raised to the power of x plus 34 equals 94. Again, our first step is to isolate the exponential part, or isolate 9 raised to the power of x. So we want to undo this addition, so we'll subtract 34 on both sides of the equation. This would be 0, so now we have 9 raised to the power of x equals 60. Now that we have the exponential part isolated, we're going to take the common log or natural log of both sides of the equation. And we use common log or natural log because we'll have to use the calculator to solve this for x. Let's go ahead and take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And now on the left side of the equation, we can apply the power property of logarithms and move this exponent to the front. So now we have x times natural log 9 equals natural log 60. And now to solve for x, we can undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by natural log 9. On the left side, this simplifies to 1. So we have x equals this quotient here, which we'll have to get a decimal approximation for on the calculator. So we'll have natural log 60 divided by natural log 9. We standard around to four decimal places, so x is approximately 1.8634. So if we sub this back into the original equation, this means that 9 raised to the power of 1.8634 plus 34 should equal or be approximately 94. Let's go ahead and check this. Because we did round down, the value is slightly less than 94, but this does verify our answer. Looking at our second example, we want to isolate e raised to the power of 2x. So for the first step, we'll undo the subtraction by adding 9 to both sides. So we have 4 times e raised to the power of 2x equals, this is going to be 56. We also want to undo this multiplication here between the 4 and e raised to the power of 2x. So now we'll divide both sides by 4. This simplifies to 1, so we have e raised to the power of 2x equals 14. And now we'll take the log of both sides. And because we have base e here, it'll be much easier if we take the natural log of both sides. So we'll have the natural log of e to the power of 2x equals natural log 14. And now we'll apply the power property of logarithms here so we can move this exponent of 2x to the front. So this is now going to be 2x times natural log e equals natural log 14. Natural log e is actually equal to 1. Remember natural log is base e and e to the first power is equal to e verifying that natural log e is equal to 1. So we could just drop this natural log e, but just in case we didn't recognize this, we can now solve for x by dividing both sides by 2 natural log e. Two over two simplifies to one. Natural log e over natural log e simplifies to one. So x is equal to this quotient here, which we'll use a calculator to get a decimal approximation for. So our numerator is natural log 14, and we'll divide this by 2, or 2 natural log e. So x is approximately 1.3195, which means 4 times e raised to the power of 2 times 1.3195 minus 9 should be approximately equal to 47. Let's go ahead and check this. Second natural log brings up e raised to the power of 2 times 1.3195 
minus 9, and it is approximately 47. So this does verify our solution. Okay, we'll take a look at one more example in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.